Hi, um, I'm going to start by introducing myself. I go by Carmela. I'm a student. I have one more year left. I'm studying communications and psychology and my interest lies in digital privacy and it's really ironic. I know that I'm here contributing more to my digital footprint but I have my own understanding and philosophy and acceptance, I don't know, narrative around that. Aside from being a student, I'm also an astrologer. I feel weird about saying that because I don't really offer readings and I'm just not that confident with my reading skills for other people. I feel pretty young and like I don't have enough wisdom but I do use the language of astrology and I integrate it in my life and I had to say that because it's part of my identity and what a lot of my content will include. Yesterday I turned 25 years old Every year I write a letter to myself, I reflect on the past year and I used to put like my hopes for the next year but this birthday is really special to me because it's the first year that Pluto is not conjunct to my sun and I feel like I've been in a writer's block ever since 2020 and as a writer, I write to understand and I also write to bring myself to conclusions, to make sense of things and the last two years did not make sense. <laughs> um, a lot has changed, a lot has happened. I spent, I think, my whole 24th year trying to make sense of what has been happening, which is the transit that has been the elephant in the room that I did not address before making that Pluto and Pluto transit Venus video um, that has gained some attention. And it's my experience with Pluto transiting my son. So last night, I ended up writing for three hours and I cried and everything is in this. I wanted to read it. I don't know if I'm going to share the whole thing because that is another thing I've decided that I wanted to write a book um, and it's going to be, I think, centered around the things that I have learned during the Pluto Sun Transit. Everything is in the letter so I'm just going to start. is really special to me because it's the first one without Pluto conjunct my son. A lot has changed since then. I don't think I can fully describe my experience with Pluto transiting my son, but today I want to try. About two months before my birthday, I started thinking heavily about 2018, what I know to be one of my happiest years. In thinking about the work I want to create now, I couldn't help but think about my younger self. Identity has always been a profound journey for me. And when I was younger, I would attach characteristics that I admired in others that I wanted to embody. The most significant one being quote unquote shameless, which I adopted from the artist most known as Shameless Maya. And then comes the Saturn Pluto conjunction in 2020, one degree from being conjunct to my son. My life flipped, just as everyone else, as this was the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the point of this is that not everyone experienced this harsh transit directly on the sun. The planet that rules ego, the vivaciousness of life, I could no longer quote-unquote be shameless in the way I thought it meant. And if I were to guess now what I thought it meant then, it meant being my 
myself at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Before writing that second part of the sentence, I was going to say that it meant disregarding other people's feelings, oversharing my truth in public spaces, with complete disregard for my safety, talking without thinking, only changing when I want to change and not adapting. However, my now 25-year-old self refrained from saying all of that by exclaiming, you were literally 23 years old. I would never go back to those younger years despite the melancholy I feel towards a more shameless me. Because it also means going back to a version of myself who was more naive, more angry, more sad. A version of me that didn't have the capacity to hold all of my emotions and the skills to regulate them. I feel as if my whole 24th year, I was waiting for an explanation of my behavior because the Capricorn self-flagellation or a need to make sense of messed up situations, even if they were quote unquote, my fault is loud. But my counselor was right. Some situations are just that, messed up, unfair. I want to get better at accepting that and I will because throughout Pluto's misfortunate events, I started to see what it meant to care for myself. And to my surprise, it had nothing to do with anyone else. It had nothing to do with the gifts and skills I offer, the parts of me that I use to measure my worth. Something I admitted to myself near the end of Pluto's transit to my son is that I used to only befriend people when there was a clear power dynamic and that I had more going on for myself. In other words, I was the star or leader and the other person would be a supporter or follower. It wasn't until I started meeting more people who were even more attached to their work and more generally exploring what success even meant to me. I did what Pluto intended for me. I stopped sharing my writing online. I deleted my Instagram. I was ridden of everything and everyone to my actions or not that played significant roles in my identity. As clean cut as it may sound, the ebbs and flows of this process lasted for about three years, and I'm still grieving. In lamenting on my past, wishing I could go back to the years where I spent most of my money on yearly trips to New York City just to feel free of the binds and constrictions at home, just to get a taste of freedom in a city that smells of acceptance, I can't and I no longer want to. Because now I automatically think of the underlying reason. Because now I think about how that money could be better spent elsewhere. My truth now is that I no longer identify with being shameless. Actually, I feel ashamed a lot. Alongside embarrassed, even uncomfortable with myself the more I heal. And as an artist, a writer who talks about life, if I waited until I felt confident, my waiting could not be worth how much this journey of growing and healing means to me. In other words, how much my life means to me. And that leads me to exploring my why. Surprisingly, it's the same as what it has been eight years ago. I share my insight in the case that it helps others. I realize that being in the spotlight is just a consequence of my why. As Fran of Hey Friend Hey said in the Friend Zone podcast, my motive to share parts of myself online was always about impact. Life is too short to keep wisdom all to myself and my immediate circle or community. That's one of the more pleasant teachings the Pluto Sun Transit taught me. I want to be everything. I want to do everything. I want to write books. I want to act. I want to dance. I want to perform. I want to show people that life is short and that they can start no matter how old they might be. I want to take my time. I want to save my life. I want to commit more to my relationships. I want to graduate. I want to play music. I want to live in different places. I want to live despite of and because of my differences instead of in spite of what anyone else has to say about me. They are always going to talk. They call me a liar, a loser, ugly, selfish. People write their own stories, especially when they are unwilling to hold space that 
someone could be different, and that it's okay. Or that they themselves are the villain, and that it's okay. When the clock struck 12 a.m. at the start of the year, I realized that I choose to empower myself and all the quote-unquote negative labels others have placed, others have called me, mainly loser and ugly. What does beauty even mean? What does beauty even signify if its visual representation is what I'll never be? How heavy of a word is loser? when I am called that for refusing to involve myself in unsafe spaces. And why is your first instinct to call me a loser instead of opening yourself up to the fact that someone is just too different from you? If being myself means I'm a loser, then I guess that's that. I'll be able to do audiobooks. Need, need water. So, <clears throat> writing that was really healing for me. When I wrote that line, I was talking about being shameless and what it meant to me when I was younger. And I said, if I were to guess now what I thought it meant then, it meant being myself at 17, 18, 19, etc. It was a really defining moment for me. That's when I cried because I think, and I talk about how self-flagellation is so real for Capricorns. It just, we can't bear for messed up situations that just don't make sense. I wrote here like radical forgiveness um, in the letter because I think that's the greatest gift that I could have given myself this birthday, what I want is just to live my life without feeling like I'm living in spite of, because that was also a lot of my younger self and why I overshared, because I just, I, it was like, it felt like the only outlet to share online. I think a lot about like, <sighs> um, you know, flying too close to the sun. I. I definitely have a deeper understanding of my role online in like an ex extremely public setting no matter how small or big of a following you have. The internet is scary and I know the consequences of what it means to be online and I think when you're young and the internet is the only outlet you have it's so easy to disregard safety and yeah I mean that's that's as much as I would like to share but it feels good to be 25 and it feels good to I'm just gonna check if this is still recording yes it feels good to age it feels good to grow into more wisdom and I think especially when I decided to commit to studying astrology and meeting people who are, you know, past their Saturn return, I realized how young my brain still is, despite how self-aware and introspective I may be. I just haven't experienced life enough, and something I've been working on is this. I posted this on my Instagram. It's the Year Compass. It's a free source online. It has helped me think about the previous year and it also has a section on my year ahead, 2023. I'm just kind of waiting till Mercury goes direct because I trust that there's more information and more understanding that will arrive to me and yeah this this birthday means a lot and 
can't wait to start crawling. It means so much to me because I felt so lost and stuck and I had no self-worth during the Pluto Sun Transit. Like, even if I intentionally rid myself of like a blog that I've had for like seven, five or seven years, all my connections to past friends and like just people that I've met all all gone. It was incredibly lonely like the 12th house year was I started a new job that year and I just didn't want to make friends with anyone I just I was going through it. I had no self-esteem I just I didn't go into the specifics in my letter because I didn't want to share that business but I'm still grieving as I said and just to have hope again that life is, is going on and life is moving and things are moving forward and forgiveness, forgiving myself was a big part, a big step that just washed over me when I turned 25 and I'm so grateful, yes, if you want to follow along my journey when I'm going to release my book, I have no idea when that's going to be. Then you can subscribe to my email list. I'm also on a bunch of other social medias, but it's just so embarrassing because as I said, I am quite passionate about digital privacy, but I'm also passionate about life <laughs> and just being a teacher and being a guide. I'm rambling at this point, but if you see Puss in Boots, The Last Witch, um, please watch it. It's actually really good. The character of the, the Lotus, I think, the ethical bug is me. That's literally me. Um, <laughs> I realized that people meet me at a time when they need a conscience. <laughs> I don't know what. It used to bother me, but it's okay. Maybe that's just my place <laughs> in this world. Yes, Pluto is transiting my Venus. It's gonna start its transit to my Neptune, too. It's just going through my whole stellium, and then it's gonna go through all my Aquarius placements, too. How fun, right? I'm so lucky, right? Thank you so much to everyone who wished me happy birthday, who just thank you. I feel so loved, and I've been trying to tell people and to show people my way of expressing that. Yeah, I feel good about where I'm going. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. And take it easy. I always am so happy when people approach me and they comment on the stuff that I write because it's basically my soul. Um, they're my thoughts and they're really like... I want to say private, but then I put it out there, and it's just amazing that you guys find my mind so interesting, and I hope these videos will be interesting too. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the person who is behind all of these words, and that's me, and I hope that you guys tag along.